Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Matt Lloyd. So today's question comes from Lynn Scott, and Lynn has asked, Matt, how were you able to survive and to drive traffic in the very beginning if you didn't have a job to keep some money coming in? Okay, very good question. How do you find the money to advertise your online business if you don't have a job? Okay, or if you quit your job to go full-time in the business. So let me tell my, my answer. I've got really two approaches to this answer. What I did was a little bit riskier in, in terms of how normal people define risk uh, when, when I started out. Let me, let me tell you what I did. So in, in, uh, this would have been early 2010. Uh, I was only one year or so into my business, okay, this new online business that I'd done. Actually, sorry, this was 2009. This was less than one year into the business. What I did is I quit any job I had, again at the time I was mowing lawns to make money on the side, I was a university student, I cut off all of my sources of income, even money that I was getting from the government for being a student and not having a lot of money, I went and cut that off too and I decided to burn all the bridges behind me so that I had no choice but to uh, to see the business do well. Otherwise, they wouldn't really have money coming in. So that was my approach to it. Now, most people wouldn't do it, and most people certainly wouldn't advise you to do that. But for me, what that did is that created, that created uh, an extremely big reason to want to succeed, or it added to my reasons for wanting to do well. Okay, so in the beginning, I just had to hustle. Okay, I just had to hustle to find the money. If that meant selling something that I had that I wasn't using anymore, like an old laptop or an old, uh, you know, bike or something like that, then I would go and do it. Okay, I would I would liquidate that so I had some cash. I could put it back into the business. I would borrow money occasionally. I would put money on credit cards. I would just hustle to to find the money to get the job done. Okay, and there were times when I had to I had to pause my advertising. I couldn't afford to do paid advertising at times. Um, but even during those times, I would still I'd, I'd still be promoting the business. I'd find free traffic strategies that just took up a lot of my time, and I would do those until some money came into my life. And as soon as that money did come in, I would put it back into paid traffic. I tried to do as much paid traffic as I could because I just knew that was that was the way to build my business. Okay, that was going to be much faster, much more scalable. Okay? So, that's that's one answer. Um you just hustle and you just find the money however you can. Okay? And that's part of being an entrepreneur, being resourceful enough to find ways to basically create money out of thin air. Okay? Um my other answer to that is if you want to be a little bit more conservative, you might consider having a part-time job on the side while you're building your business in the beginning. Some people do this. Some people cut off all sources of income, okay, and then they realize that they need to go and get a part-time job. Otherwise, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to pay the bills. So some people do that. My only caution against that is you've got to be careful that you don't get too comfortable relying on that part-time source of income and having that as like a, a cushion for you to fall back on it's like a safety net you got to be careful with that if you're going to go into business you need to go into the business with with the uh, the mindset that you know this this is not a little hobby I'm doing on the side this will be my primary source of income very soon and I'm a hundred percent devoted uh, or committed to doing that okay so if you're gonna have a part-time job it might be just a few hours a day on the side and then the rest of your time you're putting back into the business as much as you can. There were times when I was starting out where because I just really needed the money, I might go and uh, do some gardening for you know one of my old clients or mow their lawns or something like that just for $50 or $100 just to help pay the bills in the short term. Okay, But um, I, I tried to really minimize that as much as I could. Okay, so that's my advice, either hustle, okay, just find a way to make the money, sell some stuff you don't need, borrow the money, credit cards, lots of lots of things like that, like typical entrepreneurs do, um, or get a part-time job, something that you just, you decide you're going to do on the sh in the short term, and ideally, here's, here's my last piece of advice on that, if you can find a part-time job that helps support what you're doing in the business, that's ideal. 
Okay, so let me give you an example. There was a time when I was when I was younger, uh, early 20s, where I took a job as a telemarketer. Okay, selling to people on the phone. Okay, calling strangers and getting paid on pure commission. Okay, so in other words, if I didn't sell, I didn't get paid. Now at the time, I was doing that about eight hours a day, so that wasn't really part time. But some people in that telemarketing room did do it part time. They did it maybe three, four hours a day. Now, if you were good, you can make good money doing that. I remember on my best day, $350, $400, which back then was, was decent money. But the reason why I took that job was I knew that that would toughen me up as far as rejection, okay, as far as having people say no when I ask them for money. Uh, number two, it would teach me how to sell, okay, and it would teach me very fast because if I didn't sell, I didn't get paid, okay, and I didn't like that. Um, so I took that job and that, that really, really helped me. I, you know, I did that for about three months and I really credit that experience as, as being pretty crucial for me learning how to sell and just, just understanding that, Hey, I can get paid on results. And if I, if I get good at this, I can get paid well, if I get good at selling and then transferring some of those skills back to my business. I was selling something completely different in the business, but at the end of the day, the principles behind selling, they can be applied to, to just about any business. So if you take a part-time job, try and find something that's going to help you in the business. And usually that's, that's anything to do with selling. Okay. That's, that's the critical skill if you're going to go and build a business. Okay. So hopefully that helps and I will see you in the next episode.